Hello. Happy Arvo, everybody. Thank you for joining me. It's a blisteringly hot day here in the outback of Indiana, so I've got on my tank top. Um, and I've got a good video today. I've got something I'm excited about. Um, Australian etiquette. That's right. Because as Logan Paul once said, it's all about the respect. So before I ever make my way down under, I need to learn how to act, okay? I don't want to embarrass myself. So hopefully this girl here can help me. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a Colombian girl living in Melbourne. I've oh, been she's in Colombian, Australia okay. For more than four years, and it's okay, time okay. for me to share with you. I think that's enough time to get the hang of things. Get, you know. The rules, the etiquette. In this video, I'm going to share with you those rules, unspoken rules that good, you good, should good, good, good. follow if you are coming to Australia. You need to Whoa, know what are her eyes doing there? That you should follow if you are coming to Australia. You need to know this to get immersed in okay, the good, culture. Okay, good, 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 good. Stay here. Melbourne. We drive on the left, so opposite to any other country with few exceptions. Hmm. I was under the impression most countries drove on the left and that America was kind of odd. No? We drive on the left, but also we walk on the left. Uh, on the stairs, we... That makes sense, because in America, you drive on the right, you walk on the right. Go okay, got it. on the left to dance. It's going to be hard. That's going to be hard if I ever go. That would be so difficult, probably. I'd be running into people. To go down, it's very funny. And I'd be like, what are you doing? Ah, uh, you jackass, get on your side. When you're in the city center and you can tell who is a tourist and who is not a tourist. Because the tourist will walk on the right and it, it's kind of like, move. Mm. This is not the way you need to walk. Mm -mm. You need to move to the left. The second rule is escalators. Hey, at least you've got tourists, though. That's the funny thing. This is also a funny frame that I paused on. But, <laughs> but um, people are always complaining about tourists. And I have to say, that is really good for your economy. You want tourists. Okay, this blew my mind. When you are going down or up an electrical stairs, you need to move to the left, okay? If you are not going to walk down or up. Oh, okay, and got you it. you should leave the right side empty. In America, it's really not, I would say, um, if you were to think about it, that's probably what you should do. But there's so many lazy people here that, like, if you get on an escalator, I'm the type of guy to walk up an escalator, but m most people are not. So... If there's anyone else on the escalator, I pretty much just give it up, okay? You're not gonna like try to run and squeeze past everybody because they're not standing on the right. For those people but who But in Australia, rush, it's a bigger deal, huh? Up okay. and down. One thing that you need to got keep it, in it. mind when we come into Australia is that here we treat everyone equal. So if someone works at your company cl at, as a cleaner, I we so. will treat it the same as the president. We mm. say hello, we are polite. Like like there that. are classes like low, medium, high, but they are not that mark on the day-to-day -day life. Another one is we respect. Okay, I'm trying to think of the implications of that. So that's very similar to like Southern hospitality type of mindset, you know. Huh, I'm an Australian now. We respect the lines, okay? If there is a line, don't be the smartest. Don't try to cut oh, the line. No. Just go to the end and wait for your good, turn. Good. Australians don't I like don't... when someone tries to cut the line. That's Neither do I. Not Australian. I've got a little Australian in me, I think. Way. In Australia, opposite to some other Asian countries, or even Latin American countries, they respect their personal space, okay? So they respect their personal mm. space. They okay. don't like to be very, very close to each other unless it's a train or a tram where they have to. Don't okay. touch people that haven't allowed you to do that. And be very yeah, yeah, that's a big no-no here too. Don't touch people without, <laughs> without consent. Respectful of their 
personal space. So when you okay. meet someone Easy new, enough. unless you know it's from a country that kisses, don't do it. A handshake yeah, no. will be the best. And if it's a business thing or a more formal situation, never go for the kisses. Now, there's nothing weird about the handshake, right? It's just... Like, there's no, like, uh, secret. <laughs> nothing going on there. Just go with a firm handshake. A, a good one, not a Donald Trump one. Okay. Another one... <laughs> <laughs> is don't throw if you haven't seen donald trump's handshakes look it up throw garbage or trash on the streets like out of the window right 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 right, right. that's what their video said the yeah yeah they don't go on the floor okay you have to find that's funny to put it in that's funny the cigarettes again that is very different here in america there are plenty of rubbish unless you're at like disney world uh yeah, you can pretty much just stomp it out anywhere. Beans all around. If you have a piece of garbage or trash, wait until you see a bean and you put it into the bin. Don't do it on the street, even if it's... Hey, that's how I live my life every day, okay? So, no problem. A little plastic mint thing. Don't do it. This one is a little bit controversial. In Australia, we do not tip. Tipping, I mean, oh. as in the waitress. Leave some money at the end. Now she said right there, she said we do not tip, but then tip. here it says tipping. I mean, as in the waitress. You don't have to tip. So which is it? I would rather it just be you don't tip. Don't tip, period. Not you don't have to tip. Yeah, technically you don't have to tip here either. But it sounds like, okay, you're, you're pretty much not expected to tip at all. Period. Anyone? Like if you're at a hotel, the cleaning lady, you don't tip her? Uh, the, the waitress, you don't tip? Haircut, no? Uber driver? Just leave some money at the end so they can divide it. We don't, we don't have to. It's not an obligation to do it. Like in other countries, like in America, you know that you have to tip. Here, you don't have to tip. If you want to tip that- I like that. Cause in America here, I mean, there's so many things about tipping. First of all, I went and got a pizza yesterday through a drive-thru at Pizza Hut, drove through, picked up the pizza, and they handed me a thing to sign, a receipt, and it said, how much do you want to tip? What am I tipping? But you feel like, because you're in America, you feel like you have to tip. But then if you put a low tip, you might as well put no tip because that's equally as offensive. So I just left it blank and drove away really quick. That's fine, that's good. Because usually you're tipping for service. I didn't get any service. Don't think that you have to tip in order to be seen like a good tourist or a good person. That's not the case. When you are good, invited good, to good. a barbecue, you need to take some drinks with you. And not only the <laughs> okay. ones that you are gonna drink, but if possible, more. It's a tradition that if you get invited to a barbecue or to a dinner, you bring some alcohol. When okay. you are using Excellent. Uber, it's <laughs> normal that you sit in the front. A very what? important one, and not only for the social, but also for- You guys are just so trusting. It's great. Business is that punctuality is key, and it's value, and- uh, Same thing here. But um, sitting up front in the Uber, I mean, who even makes that rule? I suppose the Uber driver does. But would they be offended if you sat in the back? That's so funny, because here in America, they'd be offended if you sat in the front. They're like, uh, back off. Like, I don't want you trying to hold me up or something while I'm driving or doing anything sketchy. Like, get in the back. It's a show of respect. If you have an appointment at 8 a.m., arrive at 7.55. Australians value their time, Same thing. value their commitments, and it's just, it shows respect to be on time for an appointment. There you go. I don't know how many did I share today, but I share like a lot. If you like what you saw, <laughs> if you like what you- Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, daughter of my mum. That was very helpful.
<laughs> it really seems like there's a lot of similarities. I don't think I would be like arrested um, for breaking the etiquette, most likely. Other than I'd be like slamming into people on the right side of the sidewalk. But apart from that, you know, you got, I might forget, I, it would be difficult for me to not tip because I would be worried, but I think I could get over that pretty quick. No tipping, walk on the left. And that's about the only things I got to remember, right? And drive on the left. That would be a big mistake to forget that one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. I hope you have a fantastic Arvo. <laughs> uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.